Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. A uh, quick update on progress of the 57 Chrysler 300 we've been uh, working on. Uh, it's been a while since my last video, but uh, uh, daytime job and uh, off the sprue. Um, it's not leaving a whole lot of root time for building models, but we got some time squeezed in these last few weeks. And um, we got some progress. Um, interiors uh, finally painted... Uh, all assembled. I've just got it taped to uh, to the chassis and floor pan now, just to make sure that uh, I've got clearance for motor, um, suspension, and what all's going on in the firewall in this thing is. Um, just to make sure everything's going to fit, and so far the plans are working out pretty good. Um, interior, we've gone with a two-tone uh, color combination. Uh, I've got a real light green that I've custom mixed. Uh, it's basically Tester's White with some uh, green mixed in with it. And the other color we went with is the Tester's uh, Ivory, which is a really light tan color. I think it complements the green pretty good. Um, done embossing powder on the rear parcel shelf. Um, embossing powder on the carpet. And this model actually has molded in floor mats, so I managed to... Um, do my embossing powder around the outline of the floor mats and it turned out not too bad pretty good actually um, Dash is all detailed up um, Got seat belts in place uh, Motors just tacked um, in there right now um, As I mentioned in my previous video uh, with the air cleaners that I put on that I make um, I was going to run into a hood clearance problem so I've actually lowered the motor about, oh, about an eighth of an inch roughly. And it still gives me clearance uh, for the upper control arms and, uh, and the lower cross member. So it's just going to fit under the hood from my test fitting. That's just what I was doing before we uh, decided to shoot this video. So, so far guys and girls, it uh, looks pretty good. Um, Air cleaners and the extensions to the carbs um, aren't glued in place. They're just still tacked on. As I mentioned before, I'm not going to glue those until uh, they're going to be one of the last things to make sure I've got clearance for all the other garbage that's going on inside the engine compartment, battery and brake master and uh, heater box and and whatnot going on in around up in this area here. I uh, still have coil to... Uh, find a home for. I think I'm going to glue it down beside the distributor down the back side here. Looks like I'm going to have room for that. So that's probably where we're going to mount the distributors back here. I uh, still have belts to do, of course. i got to run my belts on there. Um, I won't do that till the motor is ready to go in, in place. Um, just because I manhandle everything so much when I'm doing my test fitting. Um, everything else is pretty much painted. i got a couple little tiddly things paint, uh, just finished painting before this video um, that I of course forgot to do uh, when I went on my painting spree um, but those are drying in the background they'll be ready hopefully over the weekend we'll get some progress with those little bits um, wheels of course we got ready to go um, I machined some wheels to fit uh, these white walls and they're up on the website now guys if you haven't had a chance to stop by and have a look um, I can machine you different uh, diameters and depths too uh, I can custom do that for you. And uh, I mentioned before that I went with the stock hubcaps, but what I did was I cut the center section out of each hubcap and then used the body color, which is that pale green, and painted all around the outside edge. So when they get laid uh, inside these uh, wheels, the green paint reflects onto the... Uh, dust um, reflects onto the side of the rim which kind of gives it a green kind of glow which is kind of a neat effect actually so those are ready to go uh, what else have we got oh next thing I got to do is set my wheel heights and probably what I'm going to do by looking at things is probably the same I do on some of my other models that I've built is between the upper and lower control arms I'm probably going to drill a hole find my center line between the upper and lower uh, control arms uh, drill a hole right through the side of the frame and epoxy a small uh, piece of axle in there 
and that appears to be where it's going to give me about the right ride height. I want to get it low, but not uh, really in the weeds, but just get it a little lower than what the stock is, of course, just to give it that more of a custom kind of a look right about there probably um, anyway that's my next um, my next task is to uh, set the right height uh, front and rear I've got my springs in my rear end uh, painted up but we're probably going to have to lower probably the, the springs will just go in the stock locations and we'll probably have to build up some spacers uh, between the diff and the spring mounts back here um, but once I get my front right height set, and then I can uh, figure out where the rest has to go and what kind of spacer I need to make to space that diff lower. Um, we'll have to modify the shocks and shorten them probably too, but that's that's an easy peasy thing. Um, other than that, um, that's about where we are. Oh, exhaust. I'm going to use um, basically the stock exhaust that came with it. Um, I'm not going to use the tailpipes that came with this uh, kit though. Um, I'm going to use some uh, solder, <clears throat> excuse me, run some solder from the back side of the uh, muffler. And we're going to exit it out probably on the, out the side on each side. I think that's kind of going to look good. I've got some oval uh, aluminum tubing that I used. Um, uh, same tailpipe tips that I used on the 63 orange um, Impala that I did a year or so ago. Time flies. Um, anyway, that's kind of where we are, boys and girls. A uh, quick one. And uh, stay tuned, and hopefully we'll next one we'll show you a bit more progress, if not uh, the final reveal on this baby. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. We'll talk soon. See ya.